What's up, everybody? Welcome back for another EVE Online Fit video. This is going to be going over the Heavy Assault Cruiser Precursor ship, the uh, Ikatursa. Uh, I use this just to kind of like a, you know, it's one of just one of the other ships in my arsenal. Um, you know, it's just some ratting and things like that. But I figure since we're, you know, kind of covering all the uh, trig ships, we might as well, uh, you know, talk about the Iki a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll go through my fit and I'll put that in the description. Um, and then, you know, while we're talking about that, I'll... Uh, I'll run like a rat site so you can kind of just see uh, how everything kind of kind of looks. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. As far as a clone goes for this, you can run a clone if you want. I would recommend running things like armor repair um, implants if you can. Uh, it helps a little bit or just, you know, armor uh, implants just help with your toughness, really. And then maybe like rate of fire stuff for your turret. But you really don't need to run a clone if you don't want to, which will bring the overall cost down quite a bit. This ship comes in at around 700 million if you were to buy it in Jita at the time of this upload. It's pretty good for the price. Um, and when you're running with it, where I'm usually running the uh, the two armor repairs on it and the heaviest soul damage control, which gives a little a lot of versatility when we're out there fighting. We can you know do um, forlorn. Uh, hubs and stuff like that which those would be kind of iffy but most of the time i'm running like you know rally points for if i'm really trying to go fast or just normal hubs or things like that so let's go ahead and get started talking about the rigs i use a medium ancillary current router 2 and then a medium ancillary um nano pump 2 for the high slots heavy disintegrator we'll be using the uh mystic m for our long range and then a cult m for our short range as usual and then I'm also running a drone link augmenter just to bring our control range up for the drones a little bit. I use the drones just to kind of help with like smaller stuff like frigates. And I'm used, I just, you know, carry 15 like light twos. So in this case, I'm run, taking um, 15 uh, Hornet twos. For my mid slots, I'm running a 50 MN micro warp drive two. With this on, it gets me about 1800 meters a second. And then I'm running two large cap batteries. I want to be cap stable so I can run all of my armor repairs and my disintegrator and all that and then running just a regular tech 2 uh, cap recharger for the lows I'm using two heatsink twos and then a reactive armor hardener then I have the you know the fa I, I use a faction um, assault damage control but you can also just use a regular tech 2 damage control if you want that could bring the cost down a little bit and then I'm running two um, tech 2 medium armor repair twos and just going over the numbers here as you can see this is with the uh, assault damage control on but really armor is pretty decent across the board and then we um, have about a 19k EHP on this and then um, some decent you know, DPS with the uh, disintegrator and the uh, drones combined all right so remember this is an armor ship so your shield isn't really all that important um, you're going to be wanting to orbit as much as you can. Usually when I roll into a new area or a new wave or whatever, I am going to take out these uh, guns first. And I'm going to try to get everything on me too. I'm also run damage control at when I first get on grid just to um, kind of help, you know, get me caught up a little bit. I already have the uh, armor repairs running just so when everything drops, uh, when the shields drop to zero, we're uh, good to go. I'm actually going to orbit this lookout here. And then we're going to throw on the uh, micro warp drive. Let's uh, target this other. We're going to target this other tower here. And go and get it down. And then we could just start. Since everything's red boxing us now, um, we can go and throw out hornets, and we'll get hornets started on the frigates, and then we're gonna start working on the destroyers. We'll get disintegrator on the destroyer, and we'll get hornets on those guys. And I'm gonna start orbiting the other destroyer that we're gonna be heading towards. That's really what it is, you know. It's just you know orbit the target you're about to attack and then just keep your drones on the frigates and things like that if there's no frigates have them just help you with the destroyers but as you can see things die pretty quick and then just can't keep your orbit target up because if you don't you're just gonna start flying off into space like this once your orbit target is uh destroyed 
but pretty simple. I mean, you, uh, you there's unlike other ships where you have like multiple like missile launchers and multiple um, guns where you can kind of like group them and kind of split weapons. You don't really have that with precursors because you only have the disintegrator and then you have the uh, the uh, the drones. So you just kind of kind of get in the get in the habit of running things like one at a time. I'm cruiser on. And this you gotta be really careful too, because this thing could go really fast. So you can come out of that. Uh, you know, the mystic gives me up 40, um, 46 kilometer range, and then if I switch to a Colt, it's like 19 or so. Once you kind of get to this point, and you're kind of just you know farming the actual wave, you don't really need the micro warp drive on too much. It'll allow you to make a little bit faster adjustments. As you can see, the armor repair is keeping up very nicely. Rally points are pretty fast since uh, most things are cruiser below. Drones are already on the frigate for the, the wave, so it's exactly what we want them to do. Once they start taking damage, we kind of want to keep an eye on them a little bit. Once this uh, cruiser is down, we're going to select the next one. If you do like run into trouble and you start like going like halfway on armor or something, that's usually when I use like the assault damage control just to help get things um, situated. This guy's in hull, so we're going to go ahead and try to bring him back before he dies. So we saved him, then we'll just launch a freshie. You got to be kind of on top of it. Once they get into like armor for the drones, I try to pull them back. There you have it. Not a, uh, <clears throat> not super complicated as you can tell. Very, um, very straightforward ship. I'm a really big fan of the Trig ships. They're one of my favorites. So, if you give this uh, fit a try, let me know how you like it in the uh, comments, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.